Hi, welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Mats. I'm Jeff Wolfemeyer from Engine House Training, and today we're going to talk about using tools as your anchor points for bailing out of a window. You can use any tool from a halligan to an axe or any size, length, shape, and style of hook. The hook's probably the easiest and the safest to use and is our preferred tool of choice. So today we're going to cover the steps for using the hook. First thing I'm going to do is deploy my system. Now there's numerous systems out there with all different types of anchors on them. You may or may not have a hook. Your hook may or may not have a gate or you could just have a carabiner. We prefer using some sort of knot to tie to the tool. First thing I need to do is get some slack and then the preferred knot is a clove hitch. So I just make up my clove hitch in my left hand. I slide the handle of my tool through. Once I get it to the middle of the tool, I tighten down my clove hitch. I hold the tool in my left hand. Once the situation dictates I need to bail out of this window and I find a window, I'm gonna clear the window with my hook, turning that window into as large as opening as possible. While staying low, I'm going to deploy my system, get enough slack to where I could tie my clove hitch around my hook. Slide it over the handle, up to the middle of my tool. Tension my tool and place my hand and tool in the corner of the window. I want to make sure I got enough slack so my descent device clears the sill and then I'm going to bail out. Once outside I maintain control of my line. I'm going to squeeze my descent device and lower myself to the ground. Let's take a look at this in real time. Today we discuss using your tool as an anchor point while bailing out of a window. No matter which tools you use or which bailout kit you use, it's important to train and be proficient using your tools and equipment to where you can safely and effectively bail out of a window. I'm Jeff Wolfemeyer from Engine House Training. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.